Welcome to Hold Fast Radio, Ride Out Life with Mental Illness. You too, ladies and gentlemen, can stay afloat in this ever-cycling existence. Stay tuned. Hello, paging Dr. Friedman. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hello, everybody. It is so good to be back. This is Amanda, a.k.a. A. Grime, with Hold Fast Radio Ride Out Life, 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 Life. With mental illness, bipolar disorder specifically we're talking about here. And uh, I am so happy to be with you. Happy spring. It's here. Yes. In fact, I'm looking out the window and... I see green here on the northeastern seaboard. There's green sprouting. There's crocuses. There are very tiny little daffodilies. And they are just lovely. And today's very exciting. I have some great questions from prospective course members. Yes, that's right. I have a course. And the course is entitled Loving Your Bipolar Kin. A six-week interactive course, and it is beginning very soon, and I need and want you to join the course. And today, by listening and by uh, signing up for the course, you will get an extra 50% off the already very low, 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 low price. But that's all neither here nor there. Let's talk first. Um, actually, let's listen to A Taste of Springtime. Some Bronyar Stomp, Led Zeppelin. Talk to you in four minutes and 53 seconds. <laughs>
Oh, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. That song is springtime to me. Bronyar Stomp. Thank you. Thank you, Led Zeppelin. That live version just ah, makes me skip on a forest path in my mind. <laughs> Hello again. It's A. Grime here. Hold fast radio uh, ride out life with mental illness, bipolar disorder specifically we're talking about today. And I have some very special announcements. This show is particularly important because I am introducing my course. That's right. I have an interactive course. Six weeks, six consecutive weeks online with me, AG, um, entitled Loving Your Bipolar Kin. It's based on the Hold Fast methodology, eight steps to ride out life with bipolar disorder. It's an, and with this course, um, you will re- rewrite your narrative by thinking about pi- bipolar disorder and your reaction to its many faces very, very differently. It's your time to look at it differently, and that's why I developed this. And it's your time to improve your relationships with your bipolar kin. And that comes from me, guys. You can, and I emphasize can, manage relationships with your bipolar kin. It is your beginning. And this course will help you get there. Now, with this course, upon sign up, I have a code for you. Because I really want you to participate. The course was going to start April 1st, the evening of 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, via Zoom. But I'm going to move that up so we can get some more participants. We have two excellent participants thus far, but I would love at least... Six, at least six, so that our collaborative work can be done together and we have more people to share ideas. Um, So we're going to start the first class, the evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Standard Time, um, the evening of April 15th. Because I'm the tax man. That's the original tax day. So, also my cat Nebula's first birthday and my puppy Benny's first birthday. They're like twins from another mother. Anywho, remember, ladies and gentlemen, you are not alone. And I emphasize that and I want you to remember that. Many people have reached out and said, so how can I coexist? with my sister, mother, brother, lover, um, father, aunt, uncle, friend that is bipolar. How can I coexist? How can I love them? It's really hard. They're a remarkable person, but they're very unpredictable at times. And I've heard this continue, or on it, or I'm sorry, I've heard this phrased in many different ways. And that's what this course is all about. And the reason I'm offering this course is not because, A, I'm bipolar, but B, I have a very unique perspective. I'm a survivor. I write books to help with bipolar disorder. I write fiction that is based on my experience. I used to say ill experience, but I don't say that anymore. I say just by experience with bipolar disorder and growing up diagnosed at 20. Um, because it's not, you know, the experience could have been ill, but no, I've learned. So it is not an ill experience. It's just plain old, good old fashioned experience. Um, so but what makes, gives me the most interesting perspective of all is I am married to someone who is also bipolar, who is a whole different diagnosis than I am and has dealt with it very differently than I have. And uh, we have had a very interesting, loving relationship um, that has allowed me to see firsthand (laughs) what it is like to live through the difficult times and what 
he may have endured or may endure occasionally with me and my erratic, sometimes erratic behavior. I also have taught for many years, high school students, and for the for four years I taught middle school students, and I've had a lot of parents um, ask me to be transparent about my experience with bipolar illness um, and my experience with it because they are at a loss as to how to cope with perhaps their teenager who has issues. All in all, we love our loved ones. We love our kin. And we want peace. And we want to know when we're stepping on uh, their toes and when we should back off and when we should just give them space. And I can help with that. And that's why I'm having this course. I want you to realize you are not alone. Caretakers, loved ones, and family members of those with bipolar disorder I'm going to show you how to navigate your kin's illness. I can. Um, you know, because, again, I'm bipolar. I'm a mental health awareness advocate. I'm married to another bipolar pos- person. And it shows me how to show you how to mindfully intervene, when not to get involved with your loved ones, and how to willingly expect the unexpected. Because God knows this is hard. There's hope. And I want to remind you of that always. Every illness we all know this, is as unique as each person with it. There are symptoms and behaviors that are indicative of certain facets of the disorder, but how one deals varies. Um, So the workbook that I wrote to accompany this course is invaluable as far as I'm concerned. It's an interactive workbook. I will send you a copy upon signing up for the course. Um... But even if you don't sign up for the course, you can, you can, you can uh, purchase a copy of the book on Sam Cart. Um, the link is in the description today where you can find the products. It's from, the workbook, it emphasizes the changeability 